Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about what are Ricardo Coke's weak points. Basically, I only discovered this yesterday and I had to do a re record of it because nobody was hearing any audio. So, thank you for commenting. So, sorry, thank you for. Thank you for giving me the... Yeah, so thanks Alexand Alexander Ve Vega for pointing out my no audio on the previous video that I made last night, midnight last night. So, yeah, and... I think, yeah, the, the lady Alexander mentioned in the comment as well my old video that I'm going to delete straight away on, on which is, which in this video right here is also titled Ricardo's weak point. I think I mentioned that title already in this video, but you know, it's, hopefully it's not a big deal to anyone. So in the, and Alexander said, by the way, keep the great effort up, man. So I appreciate your comment, uh, Alexander. Thumbs up for that one. So, yeah, basically, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm basically easily influenced, you know. I have my, you know, if anyone lives with me, I, I will take on their mannerisms basically if they start saying if they start saying things like you know for example let me just try and think of a funny one I'm just trying to think of a funny joke so If someone, if someone, if I, if I, if if a, if a lady starts saying, "Oh, I'm gonna walk around, walk around," if 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 if, if as a habit, uh, a person starts walking around, and and anyone, male or female, starts saying, starts saying, "Oh, I'm gonna walk around the the, the shops," and in the in the in winter and summer, you know, topless basically if they repeat it repeat 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 keep saying it constantly I eventually start saying it if that person starts living with me if they repeat it enough it, I eventually start saying it so that that's that's how I'm easily influenced you know but saying that I still want to have my own my own kids one day but yeah you know, I'm I'm not that in easily influenced, but I I am easily influenced. But I, what you know, obviously I'll come to my own conscience of that. But the the real the real weak point I'm trying to talk about now is is basically the fact that last night um, I was listening to a radio program and Ricky Gervais came on there saying how celebrities were were basically basically they were basically just sort of like you know finding or, or new new wannabe celebrities were finding any means to become famous whether it's going on 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 reality show reality TV shows and you know being completely filmed you know with, with a bunch of other people or all the celeb or other celebrities I think you know the name, the name of the program I'm, talk, I'm talking about, but I don't want to mention any names because companies don't last long. That's why I don't mention their names. So it's all that negativity that I can't, I can't really hack it. I can't really deal with that kind of negativity in that, in in any kind of circumstances. And and my. 
my mom, my mother said that um, my brother goes through that same situation. He just doesn't hang around with people that that sort of like is negative like that. Just sort of like talks negative and talks about mostly the doom and gloom of life. Because I'm I'm generally a positive person, as you can see in all of my videos. I, you know, if I was talking to talk about negative, if I was if I was going to talk about something negative, I will, f I will, I will basically flip it round, and and basically sort of like use it to my advantage in a positive sense. So I can't really I can't really deal it. I just sort of start, when someone starts talking negativity, I mean it wasn't just the radio. I've, I've experienced it with people that I live, one person I live with, just a roommate. And it's just I think it was just I think it was just because that person was ill at that time, maybe, or just wasn't was just struggling with things in in in, the, in their life. And when people do things like that, sort of like talk negative negatively, I just have to sort of like cut to the chase and just tell them not to do it, or I just walk away. But in this this in this in in this instance, like last night. I didn't actually walk away, walked away. It went so far that I was starting to contemplate backsliding, leaving Christianity. It was, it, w it was in my mind, but it wasn't like in my heart because when it hits your heart, your spiritual heart, that's when you, that's when you, and when you feel that change in your heart, that physical, physical change in your heart that you wanna leave Christianity that's when it becomes dangerous or serious because then if it can happen you reject God so so basically I was even contemplating because I was even contemplating not reading this book it's basically it's basically you can see the title there sorry I my finger away from the man's name so it's called Prayers That Rout Demons and Break Curses by John by John Eckardit, which is spelled E C K H A R D T. Basically, I mean, one day I'm gonna do sorry, one day I'm gonna do a separate video of this of this book. And with that, I'll go in full details of how much it's benefited my life completely, because I'm no longer getting any demonic oppressions from it. As well, most most Christians should know what a demonic oppression oppression is. So I don't get that anymore since I've been reading the reading 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 this book the. Um, prayers that rout demons and break curses. I've been reading this book. I've been reading this book every day, almost every day. There are days where I miss one day, but never, I never miss two days. I read this book more than I read my my own Bible, and I read my Bible five chapters a week every Sunday if I can. Sometimes I go a month month without reading the Bible. Very naughty, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, um, I'm a bit of a naughty boy sometimes. Basically, um, yeah, that that's that's really it's a really good book. I I highly recommend it above all books, especially when you have demonic oppressions. So yeah, well, any Christian, any it's good for any Christian. And so far, yeah. And, uh, and I'll point out some good points in that in in that book. The prayers that route that the the prayers that sorry the prayers that route that route demons and break curses in by John Eckhart. And basically, I think you can just get that book from most well good online retailers won't, I won't mention the company name but if you hang on a minute
Oh yeah, if you just talk that naming prayers that route demons and break curses, you should be able to find it. If you just type it on the search engine, someone done a three hour video of it. My days! Oh! That, now that's dedication. Uh uh. But it's a different name, it's just called prayers that route demons. Anyway, so I'll, I'll do a separate video of that one one day soon. Basically, there's different versions as well by John Eckhart Eckhart books. John Eckhart books. So basically, um, I highly recommend that book. I can't recommend it anymore enough. Like I said, I read it more than the Bible. And yeah, basically. So when it comes to that, that's my that's my weak point. That's my weak my weakest point. That's my weak that's my weakest ability, my vulnerability in that's when people start talking negative 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 stuff around me and and, and to me. When I start walk, talking negative negativity around me and to me I just it's just it's just depressing. I just find it very very depressing, and I just can't really cope with it really. And I just hate it. Can't stand it. It's just disgusting. You know, I, to be I, I I hate it so much here yeah, that I rather become gay than than actually listen to that kind of negativity going around me. You know, prefer, I, I would prefer that at least at least being gay will be temporary for me instead of listening to that all the time you know I'm dead serious about that you know I'm I'm not gay anyway at all not in the slightest but I'm just saying how vicious how vicious it is to, to be around negative people and I'm not trying to diss or insult gay people at all I respect them highly and and, and because of the videos I've done about gay gay people it's nothing to do with me hating them, it's just an encouragement and just saying that it's a better option or, or not, not, well, you could, some people might find it insulting me saying it's a better option but it's, it's, it's just a different option, a different understanding if you like, sorry if I've, if, sorry if I've insulted you if I say if it's a, if it's a better option, but yeah and looks like I've beaten my record for nine minute video because the other video that I did last night I was a bit a bit tired I suppose because it lasted nine minutes and this one's a bit longer so that's yeah where basically to avoid to to the best thing to to avoid negative people is like what I've said just to stay away from them or just cut cut connections from them just don't communicate with them at all or just you know avoid them completely or just walk away from a situation completely or just change the channel or radio it was radio it was radio I was, listen I was listening to I only just figured this out my weak point yesterday because before and I had interviews for jobs. One job I had an inter interview for the, the 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 employer said, "What's the weak point?" And I couldn't really identify any because partly I was ill at the time and you know just still trying to find my way in life, you could say. And I was and I was and I think I was approaching. I think I was approaching either. 30 or bit part or, or early 30s because I'm double three now 33 so yeah so that's really all I have to say in this video so God bless now take care and peace with you shall we